and welcome back. Thank you for the love and support on the most recent videos. Um, the channel is growing at quite a rate and it's fantastic interacting with you all. The primary focus of today's video will obviously be looking at uh, some more HBAR news in depth and also I will be giving a tutorial at the request of you guys on how to purchase one of the SourceSwap Plank Epoch NFTs as their uh, DEX release looms ever closer. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into that. So to purchase a SourceSwap Plank Epoch collectible NFT, you can do this over at sourceswap.finance forward slash NFT. Here you can see there are three different NFTs to choose from. The first being Gravity, the second being the Weak Nuclear, and the third being the Strong Nuclear, each of them getting progressively more expensive. Now, each one of these NFTs allows you to get continuous rewards from the faucet. Um, the more expensive the NFT you purchase, the higher the reward that you will receive every eight hours, which you claim via the Discord server. Now, first things first, before you go ahead and purchase any of these NFTs, you will require a Hedera wallet. The easiest and simplest wallet to use at the moment is definitely Hashpack. I've been singing their praises for a long time. I'd recommend you go ahead and install it on Chrome, so make sure you're using a Chromium-based web browser. Once installed on Chrome, you can either launch the web app or you can come up to your uh, top bar of your Chrome browser and you can create an account so you can run through the account creation process. There is also a source of swap buy guide I will be linking down in the description. If you guys do have any trouble though, um, their Discord server is full of very helpful people. Everyone in the community will help you out. It does say here, the first thing you should do is open your Chrome browser and delete the cache. Now I've already done this, but for those of you who don't know how to do it, if you click the sort of three lines up in the top right hand corner of your Chrome browser, if you head over to settings, you type in cache, if you spell it correctly, if you type in cache and you can hit clear browsing data, I recommend you clear all of your browsing data and then relaunch the uh, web browser before you start this process. Once you've then cleared your cache and you've created your wallet, obviously make sure you funded your wallet with some HBAR. Um, Hashpack is very cool in the fact that it has its MoonPay integration, so you can directly purchase uh, HBAR in the wallet with MoonPay if you wish to do so. If not, send across some from a centralized exchange. So now you have a Hashpack wallet, you have some HBAR, enough to cover the cost of these NFTs. So 954 for the Gravity, 2,863 for the Weak Nuclear, and 5,726 HBAR is required to purchase the Strong Nuclear NFT. Now what we're going to do is log into our NFT wallet. So if you open up Hashpack and you come to the interface, you're going to want to punch in your password. I have two different wallets on here, so I'm going to log in. It's going to ask me again and you're going to unlock your wallet. So you can see here that I already have um, a source of swap NFT. Like I said, I've already purchased the weak nuclear NFT. And you can see that I've been receiving my source um, tokens from the Fauset every eight hours. It's 11.2, so I've already claimed three times. Um, and you need to associate these tokens. Anyway, now that that's open, we come to the sourceswap.finance forward slash NFT page and we click connect wallet. Um, you can either pay the code, QR code, or you can click uh, here and it's going to log up, uh, pop up immediately within the Hashpack application. So I'm going to click the uh, wallet that I'm pairing with, which is this one for me. Once I've done that, if I just refresh the page, try this again, Hashpack, let's pair with this one. There we go. And you can see now I'm paired up in the top right hand side. So if it doesn't work the first time, just try again and it should end up working. So my wallet is now paired. You can add multiple wallets if you wish to do so. Now that that's effectively paired, again, if you flick back to the buy guide, we can see here now that we've selected the appropriate option to pair to our wallet. We've approved the request and we've logged in. So it says log in so I can log out if I choose to. Now that we've done that, it's really just as simple as pressing buy on these NFTs. So if I wanted to buy the Gravity NFT, I'd click buy now, open your Hashpack wallet, make sure you're logged in. So I hit continue. Um, make sure your the Gravity NFT token has been associated with your account. So we'd click copy. We go back to Hashpack. Um, and if none of you have done this yet, what you do is you click add token, associate token ID, you'd punch it in here, it, it confirms the name. So this is the Plank Epoch Collectibles, a Gravity NFT, the symbol, the max supply, and if there's any trade fees associated, you then go ahead and press associate token. So I'm going to associate this token, it's going to cost me a small amount of HBAR to do so. Done. So we can see that that's now been associated with my wallet. 
Now I can hit continue. I confirm that I've read and re uh, accept the terms and conditions. Press continue again, and you're now all set to purchase your Gravity Plank Epoch collectible NFT. Click the buy now button and check hashback to approve the transaction. So if I click buy now, we can see it's already popped up inside my Hashpack wallet. Um, we can view the raw transaction if we wish to do so. It says here that it's going to cost me 953 HBAR. Um, I'm going to receive this NFT and it's going to cost me a network fee of 0.00048 HBAR to process the transaction. I'm then going to press approve. It's going to ask me to unlock my wallet again. So I will do this. That's now executing my transaction. done now if i flick over to my nft art gallery you can see my gravity nft is now appearing inside my hashpack wallet um, we can see that we've been given an image as well as a video so if i select the eye on the video we can see the video will play instead um, and we can see this really cool gravity nft so now i have two out of three of these nfts i will be making a uh, decision as to whether i purchase a strong nuclear i know it's quite expensive um, but there are meant to be some handsome rewards for those who collect all three of the nfts in this collection anyway guys that's how you purchase um, the nfts over on source swap i hope you found this helpful the last thing you need to do after you've purchased your NFTs in order to receive the uh, free source tokens from the faucet is set up your profile over on Source Swap. So once you're logged in and you've purchased your NFT, as I've just shown you, if you head over to Profile um, and Edit Profile, in here you need to put in your display name and more importantly, in your bio or somewhere along here, you need to enter your uh, Discord user ID, including the four digits at the end. So just copy your complete user ID, set your profile to public, save it, and then head over to the Discord server, the Source Swap Discord server, and under there in the linking or account linking section, you need to paste the full URL. So it'll be forward slash profile, forward slash either your wallet ID or your name that you set. Once you paste that in, someone, one of the moderators from the Discord uh, server will effectively link your account and then that will allow you to start claiming your rewards every eight hours. So as I said, every eight hour period, you are able to redeem your source tokens based on how many NFTs you have within your portfolio. Hopefully that was um, sort of straightforward for you guys. And obviously I'll be uh, contemplating whether to pick up the final NFT in the series, the most expensive one, um, as it's meant to be, as I mentioned before, some very large rewards for those who have that NFT. Moving on, let's just get into some news for today as well in the crypto market. So one of the things I wanted to touch on was that the Malaysian ministry has proposed legal tender of cryptocurrencies. So we've seen a few different places now, obviously Ukraine being one of the most recent completely legalizing cryptocurrency off the back of the massive amounts of donations they've received, um, as well as obviously we've got El Salvador making Bitcoin uh, a national tender as well, as well as buying up uh, plenty of Bitcoin for their own reserve purposes. So this is again a bullish sign as we drive forward. Um, flicking over as well on the same vein as Ukraine-Russia conflict, um, Afghanistan, uh, crypto has been providing a fix for some in crisis here Afghanistan. So digital currencies impervious to international sanctions allow handfuls of young Afghans to avoid the worst of the crisis. Again, in previous videos, I've touched on this quite a few times, a similar thing was happening over in Turkey and probably still is happening in Turkey as their lira and the job market and uncertainty with their economy a lot have been turning especially the younger generations have been turning to cryptocurrencies to try and hedge and protect themselves whilst they still can before their currency lose, loses even more value due to the unprecedented amounts of quantitative easing happening in the country on more HBAR related news, um, some other YouTube channels in the space have covered this already. I won't go into too much detail because I think it's loose at best, um, but we are looking at sort of SpaceX or Tesla. So we can see here some of the, um, or the production manager, Mark Gregorio uh, of Raptor at SpaceX is actually following Hedera over on LinkedIn. There's an awful lot of information and connections between these large corporations that goes down on LinkedIn. So it's quite a valuable space to glean information from. We still don't know the full extent of what's going on here. This is all rumors at best. Um, and don't forget a lot of these large corporations are connected to lots of upcoming projects and they do reach out and, and interact with each other anyway. 
fingers crossed something materializes from this this would be an absolutely amazing partnership if it was either spacex or tesla or related to elon musk in some kind um don't forget he's the world's largest man and he has an awful lot of influence look at the price appreciation and noise that was made over on twitter when he posted the h symbol or planck's constant the last thing I want to touch on this video as well is Hedera related and it's talking about it's a decent reddit thread over on the Hedera subreddit talking about how the coupons will power different industries. Now I've had several different videos if you flip back through on the channel covering the likes of coupon bureau and other coupon related use cases on the Hedera network um, but this talks about how Hedera will not only power coupons in grocery stores nationwide but in convenience stores, drug stores, dollar stores, pets smart petco staples home de de depot etc many many more so the important takeaway is that this new standard is significantly expanding the market for manufacturer coupons and brands are lobbying hard for retailers to adopt this 8112 protocol so the 8112 protocol being the new Hedera powered universal coupon standard that is replacing the old barcode coupon standard 8110. So every time you purchase something in shops, you ring it up at a register or a checkout, the operator will effectively, or if you go for a self-serve, you will scan the barcode to register that um, and display the total of how much you owe. And this is all being replaced by the Hedera 8112 standard in some places. This is an absolutely massive use case scenario with continued things like inflation and spikes, spiking pricing, couponing could be positioned to skyrocket in use for essentially every single consumer in every single industry available currently, particularly in the consumer discretionary and consumer staple segments of the economy. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully some of you choose to pick up some sources of swap NFTs. Like I said, the DeFi expansion for dApps and DeFi indexes is coming very, very quickly. It's literally around the corner on Hedera, and I'm very excited to see um, how this continues to enable the Hedera ecosystem to flourish. We're all early adopters. Um, don't forget that. Naturally, all of these products come with inherent risks, so make sure you're doing your own personal research before you take the leap. As I mentioned previously, please also make sure you're subscribed. We're sort of 20 subscribers away from the 1000 subscriber mark. I will be releasing a Discord server as soon as we hit that milestone. Also, make sure you're subscribed on Twitter as I'm pumping out more content, as well as some really cool infographics that I share on there typically first. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.